welcome viewers in this video we'll see the regulation of a transformer subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive link is given in the description box now we'll go to the topic regulation of a transformer the regulation is nothing but when the transformer is loaded the change in secondary terminal voltage from no load to full load is called as a regulation of a transformer it is expressed as percentage of secondary no load terminal voltage so the regulation is nothing but when the transformer is loaded the secondary voltage is changing from no load to the full load how it is regulating from no load to full load value that is called a regulation this no load voltage is denoted by v2 0 v2 right that not refers this zero refers the no load full load voltage is v2 this v2 suffix zero is nothing but a no load voltage this V2 is nothing but a full load voltage. So the difference between these two is nothing but a regulation. So we'll see the definition. So the percentage of regulation, there are two types available, down and up. So the difference in voltage between no load to full load divided by no load multiplied by 100 means regulation down. If it is divided by the no load voltage, then regulation down. If it is divided by the full load, full load voltage, that is called a regulation up. Right? So, the regulation is nothing but the difference between no load voltage to full load voltage divided by either no load voltage or full load voltage. Right? So, based on that no load voltage means it is down, full load voltage means it is up. So, we will see the derivation. So, there is this, this E2, E2 is nothing but it is a very basic equation. E2 is the EM of induced in the secondary circuit. That is nothing but V2 plus I2 is at naught 2. So, the V2 is the terminal voltage, load voltage. The EM of induced is converted into the voltage, terminal voltage plus some amount of drop in the circuit. That is due to inductive and the resistive drop. That is called a Z0, impedance, impedance drop. Right? So, the EM of induced in the secondary volt, secondary circuit is equal to EM, the voltage available at the terminal and some part of the losses some part of drop due to the resistive and inductance of the secondary winding so that e2 equal to v2 plus i2 is at naught 2 right em of induced is available at the terminal voltage plus some part of resistive and inductive drop now we'll see the diagram so this is the vector phasor diagram available from that we can find the expression for no load, low load voltage to full load voltage in order to find the regulation. We are taking this V2 as a reference, V2, V2 is the reference voltage. This I2, this I2 is lagging, lagging the V2 by angle pi, this is a lagging. There is a angle between the secondary current and secondary voltage is pi. Then this E2 is nothing but E2 is the vector sum of V2 plus I2 Z0 that we already discussed, right? So, this E2 equal to V2 plus I2 Z0. So, this, this is a, we will go in a reverse order. This E2 is nothing but vector sum of V2 and this impedance drop I2 and Z0. What about this I2 and Z0? That is nothing but vector sum of resistive drop and inductive drop. Resistive drop I2 R02, inductive drop I2 X02. This resistive drop is in phase with the current because resistant current and voltage are in in phase. But in case of inductive drop, it is 90 degree. It's lagging or lagging by 90 degree. Right? So vector sum of these two is I2 Z02. The vector sum of I2 Z02 and V2 is nothing but E2. Right? So I will explain again. So, this is the secondary voltage, terminal voltage we are taking as a reference. The secondary current is lagging the voltage by angle pi. We have the resistive drop and inductive drop. Resistive drop in phase with the current. Inductive drop lagging by 90 degree, exactly 90 degree. The sum of this resistive drop and inductive drop is impedance drop. This impedance drop and V2 is nothing but E2. Now, we need to find the value of this no load minus full load value right so at at no load 
this v2 0 equal to v2 or e2 equal to k into e1 or k into v1 based on the transformation ratio we can write it so v2 0 minus v2 is nothing but e2 minus v2 the difference between e2 minus v2 right so we already we have one basic equation available e2 equal to v2 my plus i2 z naught 2 so from that we can write we bring the v2 in this side so e2 minus v2 equal to i2 z naught 2 right so the difference between the no load to full load value is represented as i2 z naught 2 so we need to find this expression for i2 z naught this is nothing but a regulation the difference between no load voltage to full load voltage how will you find this i2 and z naught 2 this i2 and z naught 2 is available here so this is nothing but i2 and z naught 2 right so here the dotted lines are available right so this is the point 0 this is point a this one point d this one n m this one l and this one b this is c so this i2 z naught 2 that is our regulation what we need that is represented as it is nothing but a n right the angle the, the distance a n is nothing but i2 z naught 2 from a to n right so that is the vector sum of this i2 z naught 2 is a n the a n is now split into two a d plus d n because in order to for a calculation so we can measure this a d easily also d n easily so that it is a n is written rewritten as a d plus d n how will you find this a d and d n that is available from this triangle so here one triangle is available a d b a d b so here one triangle is available this is angle pi so in that cos pi equal to cos pi means adjacent side by hypotenuse what is that adjacent side adjacent side is this a d opposite side is this d b adjacent side is a d a d divided by this value hypotenuse i2 r naught 2 so that a d equal to cross multiply this so that a d equal to i2 r naught 2 cos pi right so now we have we found the expression for a d then i will find d n so from the angle c l b right so this c is available c l b this triangle in this triangle find the value of sin pi sin pi means opposite side divided by hypotenuse opposite side is bl that is also equal to dn this dn and bl both are equal so dn divided by hypotenuse is nothing but i2 x naught 2 right so by cross multiply this dn equal to i2 x naught 2 sin pi now we got the value of an as well as dn from this triangle a d b as well as c l b we calculated this value because this i2 z naught 2 is nothing but our regulation e2 minus v2 is i2 z naught 2 this i2 z naught 2 is represented from this diagram as a n a n is split into a d plus d n a d is calculated and d n also calculated now we can go for the expression for regulation from this diagram we calculated the value of a d and d n so based on a d and d n value i2 z naught 2 is written as i2 r naught 2 cos pi we calculated from the triangle plus i2 x naught 2 sin pi that also we calculated so that is equal to no load secondary voltage to full load secondary voltage so this plus symbol for the lagging power factor it is if it is leading power factor it is given as minus i2 r naught 2 cos pi minus i2 x naught 2 sin pi so that is the regulation no load to full load value so in general we can write it as this regulation no load voltage to full load voltage is i2 z naught 2 that is equal to i2 r naught 2 cos pi plus or minus i2 x naught 2 sin pi the plus represents lagging minus represents leading so this is for general is applicable for both leading and lagging now we'll go to the voltage regulation that is nothing but no load secondary voltage to full load secondary voltage divided by no load secondary voltage this expression is we calculated we already found the expression for this no load right divided by no load secondary voltage right so i2 r naught 2 cos pi plus or minus 
i to x naught to sin pi divided by no load secondary voltage this is the expression for regulation so that can be written as vr cos pi plus or minus vx sin pi this vr is nothing but this i to r naught to divided by no load secondary voltage vx is nothing but i to x naught to divided by no load secondary voltage into 100 so by simply we can write it like this so now we got the expression for voltage regulation now we can go for condition for zero regulation we will go for one more condition condition for zero regulation what is zero regulation when a numerator of the regulation formula is zero we can get the condition for zero regulation zero regulation mean there is no difference between the in no load and full load the transformer is fully regulated there is no difference this the difference between no load secondary voltage and full load secondary voltage is not available it is fully regulated it is fully regulated for the all type of load right so that the numerator this value if this value is equal to zero we'll get the condition for zero regulation there is no difference between no load secondary voltage and full load secondary voltage right so when the numerator is zero numerator is zero means this value i2 r naught to plus i2 x naught to sin pi equal to 0 bring this term in the left and right hand side so that i2 r naught to cos pi equal to minus i2 x naught to sin pi right so this i2 i2 got cancelled so this r naught to divided by x naught to bring this s naught to x naught to in this side similarly cos pi in the denominator so minus sin pi by cos pi so what we got r naught to divided by x naught to equal to minus sin pi by cos pi sin pi by cos pi is tan pi right so r naught to divided by x naught to equal to minus tan pi that can be written as tan pi equal to minus r naught to divided by x naught to so at this condition r naught to divided by x naught to at this condition we can get the zero regulation here one negative sign is there negative sign indicates zero regulation occurs at leading power factor at leading power factor we can get the zero regulation for that what is the condition tan pi equal to minus r naught to divided by x naught to similarly we can go for maximum regulation what is the condition for maximum regulation the differentiation with respect to pi or a regulation equation if you regulate the if you differentiate the regulation equation with respect to pi and equate to zero we will get the maximum regulation that is a general formula already studied in mathematics also if any maximum condition needed we need to differentiate and equate to zero which parameter we need to differentiate that we need to decide that is pi here we are discussing with the pi angle pi because there is an angle between current and voltage right so the differentiation of regulation equation with respect to pi that is equal to zero right so d by d pi of this regulation equation is i2 r naught to cos pi divided by e2 plus i2 x naught to sin pi divided by e2 equal to 0 so we need to differentiate this equation with respect to pi so differentiation of this equation i2 r naught to and e2 is constant only this cos pi is variable so the differentiation of cos pi is minus sin pi similarly i2 x naught to e2 is constant differentiation of sin pi is cos pi that is equal to 0 so here minus is there so minus i2 r naught to sin pi divided by e2 plus i2 x naught to cos pi divided by e2 equal to 0 right so bring this term in the right hand side so that this negative become positive while bring the term this term in the that right hand side this part is positive so i2 x naught to cos pi by e2 equal to i2 r naught to sin pi divided by e2 so this i2 got cancelled and e2 also got cancelled right so by rewriting that x naught to divided by r naught to bring this r naught to in the denominator similarly sin pi bring the cos pi in the denominator so r na x naught to divided by r naught to equal to sin pi divided by cos pi the sin pi divided by cos pi is nothing but tan pi right so that tan pi equal to x naught to divided by r naught to right so the maximum regulation will occur at this condition x naught to divided by r naught to here we get the positive sign so the maximum regulation occurs at lagging power factor the previously we discussed the zero regulation zero regulation occurs at 
at the leading power factor. This maximum regulation occurs at the lagging power factor. So, in this video, we discuss about the regulation, the definition and expression. We got the a derivation, how to find the regulation of a transformer from the phasor diagram. Then, we discuss two conditions, zero regulation and maximum regulation. Condition for zero regulation and condition for maximum regulation. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.